Hello students and welcome to our lesson on quadratic equations, the sum and product of roots. Now the first question that you might have would be what are roots? And we will explore this in this video. For a quadratic equation, the general formula will be an ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. And let's say, for example, I will call the roots of this equation alpha plus n beta. So what are roots? We know that if, let's say, we solve this equation of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, we will finally get x equal to a number or another number. Actually, roots of an equation are the x solutions of an equation in this case, which basically means that when we solve this equation, we'll get x equal to alpha and x equal to beta. So the interesting thing about the sum and product of roots is that we don't need to find out the final answer to find out what the sum and product of roots are. Well now let's dive straight into the equation of what sum of roots are and product of roots. Take note that these are very essential formulas that you need to remember. The first formula, sum of roots, will basically always be negative b over a. And the second formula, the product of roots, will always be c over a. So like what I mentioned, this is an important formula that you will need to remember. Let us dive straight into an example right now in order to see how to apply this in questions. If let's say we are given a question of 4x squared minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0, and the question also tells us that the roots are alpha and beta. Well, in order to find out the sum of roots and product of roots, we'll follow these steps. The first things first is that we need to identify what is our A, what is our B, and what is our C. Now let me just give you a few moments to think about that. Okay, if you've gotten A as 4, B as negative 2, and C as negative 3, you have gotten this exactly correct. Now let me move up the screen a bit in order to calculate the sum of roots and product of roots. In this case, to find out the sum of roots, we know that the, since the roots are alpha and beta, as you can see over there, therefore, the sum of roots must be simply alpha plus beta. And this we know that is negative b over a, so putting in the values, it would be negative, negative 2 over 4. We know that double negative gives you a positive, and 2 over 4 just gives you half, and that's your answer for alpha plus beta. Next, we know that since the roots are alpha beta, the product of roots will be just alpha multiplied by beta itself. In this case, will be c over a, which is negative 3 over 4, which also gives you negative 3 quarters. So in conclusion, let me just recap that the sum of roots and the product of roots of a quadratic equation would be negative b over a and c over a respectively. I look forward to see you in the next lesson.